What would your voice sound like on Mars? The question everyone has been dying to know. When I was aimlessly scrolling YouTube the other day, as one does, I came across a video of Anton Petrov about the science on Mars, especially the atmosphere and the speed of sound. And at one point in his video he says the following. Which creates very unusual conditions where the higher the frequency, the faster the sound travels. Your voice would sound extremely different. First of all, you would hear a lot of high frequency sounds, followed by a kind of an echo of low frequency sounds. Something that I think I would love to simulate one day, but I just don't really know how to do this yet. Now that's a challenge. I'm no master in working with audio, but I do know there is something called a spectrogram. A spectrogram is a visualization of audio where you have low frequencies at the bottom and high frequencies at the top. And the color of the graph indicates the volume of that frequency. So the spectrogram you are looking at right now is for the following clip. Now, you do lose a lot of quality with this transformation, but just bear with me. If Anton says that higher frequencies travel faster on Mars, that would mean that this graph gets warped, as in the lower frequencies on the bottom would arrive later in time, and the higher frequencies on the top of the graph would arrive earlier. Now that's easy to do, and we can turn this new spectrograph back into a sound file, and now we know that the inevitable fight for civil rights on our billionaire Marshall colonies would sound like this. And if you are unfortunate to listen to this speech from your spaceship even further away, the sound would stretch even more and sound like this. Now do with that information what you want.